Hello there, it's your friend Phil, Project Management Trainer and Coach. Welcome to PMP Exam Drive Time with our focus today on 40 days to PMP and CAPM exam success. I hope you're following along. I hope you're not jumping the days because every day is important. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our fourth module. And this module is all about performing quantitative risk analysis. Yesterday, we talked about performing qualitative risk analysis, but today is all about quantitative risk analysis. Now, there's a fine line that divides quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative deals with more deliberate measures, more specific measures. We don't deal with scales of one to five. We deal with absolutes. So we look at the probability that a risk would occur, and we look at the impact of a risk if it occurs. So let's say the probability that a risk will occur is uh, 60%. That would be 0.6. Let's say the impact that a risk would occur after analysis by experts is 50 million. We take the 0.6, we multiply that by the impact of 50 million, and we come out with 30 million. So we call that the EMV, expected monetary value, or we call it the risk magnitude. Now, we use the risk magnitude to further prioritize risks and to further get an understanding of risks. The impact of the risk times the probability. It helps us to better assess and very rapidly rank the risk. Now, I must say that this process performed quantitative risk analysis is one of the optional processes in risk management that people say, I don't have to do this, so I'm not going to do it. People say it is so subjective that it has very little value to them. So when you go to the exam, just beware that a lot of people do not practice you know, performing quantitative risk analysis, and that's okay. But for the exam, you do need to know what it's about, and you do need to know how to manipulate the data that you've got the impact in dollars and the probability. Now there's also a different flavor of quantitative risk analysis. Some people prefer not to use dollars. They get very nervous when you put them on, on the spot and tell them to come out with an impact analysis in dollars. So some people prefer to do their impact analysis in resource hours. How many resource hours will this risk impact the project by? If it happens, how many resource hours will that be? And it's okay. However you want to look at it, just remember it's an absolute. It's not on a scale. And it's probability times impact, not a rating like it was in the previous uh, module. So I would like you to open up your PMBOK guide as usual mind map this process have the process in the middle and mind map what it's all about okay and then the input tools and techniques and outputs go into it in further detail in deep detail to better understand what exactly is quantitative risk analysis all about there's also a page in the PMBOK guide I believe it's page 339 I hope it is but it's that page where we have the EMV or we have the whole breakdown of um, decision tree analysis given to you in a, in a diagram in the PMBOK guide and it's, it's taking a look at the decision that's made from either making or buying you know taking a look at the make or buy um, possibilities and going with one you want to go with the higher EMV the one that will give you a higher expected monetary value so please take a look at that decision tree, know what to do with it, and highlight your PMBOK guide. Those of our students that are on our learning management system, this is going to be a lot easier for you. Go to PMP Exam Prep Camp, go to the Perform Quantitative Risk Analysis section in Chapter 11, and just take a look at all of that information. Cover that information for today. Uh, read this section as well in the Project Management Essentials book. Or if you've got another study aid and you don't have any of the Prazion materials, that's all right. But we break up the 47 processes into discrete bits. So it's very easy for you to jump from one process to another, from one section of our training to another. 
okay so that's what I would recommend that you do and of course you know how to get these open-ended questions get the open-ended questions if you can answer them and get good in this aspect of risk management for your exam speak to you tomorrow